Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and it's time for episode number 20... what are we at? 23, I think? Of our Pokemon Pearl playthrough here on the channel. In the last episode, we finished dealing with all the trainers on Cycling Road, trying to get one of our newest Pokemon on the team leveled up to get caught up with the rest of the, uh, the battlers right now. And we discovered that we can go here into the Wayward Cave and... Uh, one second here. I gotta click in the screen. There we go. We can head into Wayward Cave, and thanks to having our good buddy Pikachu with us, we can go ahead and light up everybody's life. Pikachu use Flash. Pika, Pika, choo. There we go. So we can make our way through here. Now we do need Rock Smash, as you will see, because uh, well, there's Rock Smash rocks, and uh, I don't know what all we're gonna find in here. We're actually going to well, we'll start the team recap. We're gonna put our trainee in the lead. That being Shelly, our level 23 Happiny, she is a Quick Claw Holding, Docile Natured, Serene Grace Abilityed, Happiny, with Pound, Charm, Copycat, and Sweet Kiss. Next is Sol, our level 30 Sneasel, holding the Cleanse Tag. 135 experience points away from disobeying once again. We'll see what happens when that, you know, as I say, if that happens, not when that happens. He is a naive Pokemon, he has keen eye ability, and cut, faint attack, icy wind, and taunt for the moves. And I realized I haven't been really saying the right thing about Gary. I've been saying Gary's another part of the team. I can't use him yet until Shelly hits level 23. So Gary is here for moral, moral support, as are the remainder of the two Pokemon. But our level 29 Gyarados is naive, just like Sol. The ability is Intimidate, and we have Double Edge, Waterfall, Earthquake, and Rain Dance, and... Shelbert and Pikachu. They're just hanging out. Although Pikachu helped us with Flash. Now, do you think it's right for me to use Flash on Pikachu where he's not really an active battler? Hopefully you don't mind that because that's what we're going with so we can actually see our way through here. Alright, so, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to lead with our Happiny. I don't know what the levels are going to be here though. They might just be runawayable. What if we want a shiny Pokemon? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, only level 14. Not really worth the experience. We're just going to Van Moose on away and be on our way. Okay, so I left it to you folks to uh, let me know which Pokemon should we teach Rock Smash to, and I sort of narrowed it down to the fact that since Gary is not really an active team member and Shelbert and Pikachu are here for moral support, there's only one option. I'm gonna have to give it to Sol. I'll replace Taunt, I guess. I mean, Taunt could be useful. We have some heart scales from the underground, and if we find the move deleter, we can get him taunt back, I guess. Where's the move tutor in this one? I do not recall. I'll track him down at some point. Anyway, we need rock smash. So, so well, or so long, taunt. Farewell. We will see you again someday, possibly, maybe, hopefully. It's really good and competitive, though, when someone's just trying to set up with a dragon dance. All right, let's smash this rock. Poor uh, Canuck, our original rock smashing Beeberl, no longer with us. Sad to say. All right, but I do want to apologize. This is several days late, I think. Hey, it's a wild Zubat. You're not shiny. Where do you get a shiny Zubat? Wouldn't mind another one. If keep one as a Zubat, evolve one into Crobat or Golbat, and then maybe another one into. <coughs> Excuse me, we're almost level 24. I should knock something out just for that. <coughs> I'm dying. Just for that last little bit of experience to hit level 24. So as I say, I'm going to apologize because this episode is several days late, I believe. The reason being, it's been taking a lot of my time getting the Pokemon Go videos edited and first of all recorded. I'm going to be out and about recording them and getting them all spliced together to form a cohesive video for you folks out there. But now that we're done, the mythical research in Pokemon Go and if you have I think that might be the last time I need to do that. But if you were following the playthrough of Pokemon Go, it's kind of weird to call it a playthrough, but if you're watching the videos, then you know we completed that research. So I can sort of uh, ease off a little bit now. My goal is just to at least aim for one mission per day, one field research task to get my stamp, and then every Thursday, if I can do, uh, what is this? Random item just sitting around. If we can get one stamp every day, then every Thursday, which happens to be my seven day streaks for spinning Pokestops and getting Pokemon, it'll also be the day that we get our research breakthrough box. It'll be kind of cool to get on a regular basis. We find ourselves an escape rope. That actually might come in handy once we get through this place. 
Uh, but yeah, so the Pokemon Pearl videos have been taking a bit of a backseat, but we should be starting to get back on track eventually. What I plan to do is, if I have the time, you see in this episode right now, in a few hours from now, there should be, hopefully, another episode of Pokemon Pearl to sort of get us caught up back on track. The next idea I have in mind is for tomorrow, I'll be doing some live streaming. I think to the left is just a blocked off area, so we'll ignore that for the time being. So in the morning, around 10 o'clock a.m. Sunday, I'm going to aim for Pokemon Ultra Sun live stream. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll probably do another one of the Wormhole Wonder Trade episodes. Maybe uh, do another Battle Royal with you folks if you want to jump into the Festival Plaza and have some more fun with that. Then sometime throughout the day, we will have a Pokemon Pearl video. Hopefully I can get that recorded for you. Oh, we hardly do a thing. Really? But I mean, at least we got stab power behind Pound. So evening around 7 p.m. Uh, this is all Atlantic time by the way. 7 p.m. Atlantic I'll be aiming for Pokemon TCG online live stream. So Sunday's gonna be a busy day as far as the channel goes. So hopefully for those of you who are subscribed you're gonna be here for all of the fun adventures and such. And if you're not subscribed feel free to do so. I say at the end of the videos you can subscribe at any point during the outro but there's a subscribe button at the very bottom of the video every single time you're watching Professor Chaz. All right, can we get a decent attack at level 23? Because pound attack just ain't really cutting it that much. And when do you evolve, Shelly? We gotta get you more power. I mean, Chansey's not really known for power, but no new attack. That might be all you learn. I'm pretty sure baby Pokemon, <clears throat> excuse me, have much limited, much more limited move pools. Huh, you know what I'm thinking? Let's give Shelly the cleanse tag. We can minimize the wild encounter that's going to make things a lot quicker getting through here. I'm not really going to battle too many things. I only got that experience there because we were like one, one uh, battle away from leveling up. And uh, I wanted to do that. Alright, let's take the cleanse tag from Saul and let's give it to Shelly. You don't need the quick claw for now. Where is that at? Look at all the items we got. I got water stones, I got shards, I got heart scale, <coughs> I got... A cold, I think. I might have gotten a cold, actually, from doing all the Pokemon going. It's possible. But if that's what I have to suffer to get the Mythical Mew and the Legendary Moltres, spoilers, by the way, um, check out that Pokemon Go video, then I will suffer the fate of a cold. Now, does the Cleanse Tag help us considerably for minimizing wild encounters? I don't think it completely obliterates them, but it should lessen things at least a little bit. Now, is this the generation where Pokemon can appear after you've rock smashed? What I'm not doing? Item finding. Does this look kind of conspicuous? Don't you think? Okay, what else is there to mention? Well, so I've been saying that I'm considering doing a weekly Pokemon Go thing on the channel. I might have it maybe uploaded on Sundays or maybe Saturdays because. Thursday being my big days for all the streaks, I can get a lot of uh, cool stuff there, the research breakthroughs, the, what is this? Oh no. Is this going to be a battle? Soul's going to level up. Yep. You look like you just might have the Pokemon I've been looking for. In deep tunnels and caves, there's a couple things you're sure to see. Zubat and Rune Maniacs. <clears throat> you know what I chose I could have done? I could have talked to each of them individually and saved us from the uh, disobedience level up. I wasn't thinking too clearly on that one. Alright, Ghastly Geodude. Hmm. Well, an Icy Wind probably does the trick. I'm going to try Copycat, see if I can actually copy the Icy Wind. It'd be kind of cool. Icy Wind does hit both targets, which is good. The Geodude might survive it thanks to the spread damage reduction, but if Shelly goes next... Actually, never mind. Ghastly doesn't even handle that. Yeah, I think... I don't think Geodude can handle that one. I mean, we are double the level, so yeah. It stands to reason. Alright. <coughs> Let's copy that uh, Icy Wind. And there we have it. Level 31. Yay. We knew this was coming eventually. I just hope you can't hit your partner in a double battle through confusion. 
All right, another gas leak. We see another Geodude. Bronzor. Okay, interesting. Hmm. So in that case, now I was gonna copy. I'm curious. I want to copycat and see if Soul ignores us. Does copycat do the last attack of icy wind? Let's test that out. Nope. It tried to copy the disobedience. Oh boy, here we go. Who'd you curse? Leave Shelly alone. How dare you. And look at this, no damage. Our special defense is too high. Nothing. Of course, that curse is going to be a problem. Hmm. So let's go ahead and heal, first of all. Super potions, the way to be. And Sol, could you please knock out that ghastly? It's not going to end the curse by any means, but just do some damage. Come on, work with us. At least you still hit, though. Okay, I can't fault you for that. This is going to be so fun playing with this disobedient little something or other, isn't it? Have you guys had experience fighting with uh, disobedient Pokemon? If so, let me know. How do things go for you? Leave it in the comments down below. I like to hear about your uh, your struggles, just like I'm having. Now I can talk a little bit about when we were playing uh, Pokemon Red and Blue way back in the day. Me and my friend Evan. I should say proper English. My friend Evan and I. Uh, wait, another Ghastly? Why? All right, let's try that copycat. It's kind of risky because no, you know what? I'm going to Sweet Kiss the Bronzor. We're going to Faint Attack the Ghastly. No, we're not. At least you aimed Rock Smash or something you can hit. I appreciate that. Ah, it's a lot of damage, too. But, uh, way back in the day, would you stop? Anyway, uh, I went through the power plant in Pokemon, or Pokemon Blue I had, and... No, 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 no. I was going to the power plant. But, I uh, needed a Pokemon that could put something to sleep, because I knew I was going to need to get Zapdos to sleep. And I didn't have anyone other than my Butterfree who could do that. So, I made a deal with my friend, Evan, who, uh, he was going to trade me, or he offered to trade me his Wigglytuff, which had Flash. Problem is, he had to have a Pokemon with Flash to get through Rock Tunnel, because he hadn't gone through that part of his game yet. So... I said, well, I've got a Pikachu with Flash, so I could trade Pikachu over to Evan, and he would trade me the Wigglytuff named Jiggles, so that we could put Zapdos to sleep. Of course, what I didn't realize, although it's kind of funny, is, uh, just one sec, Faint Attack, come on, Saul. Stop that! Don't... You don't aim a fighting attack at a ghost type. That's just common sense, Saul. Who trained you? I trained you. Right. Kind of. Anyways, I'm losing my point. Point is, Evan had some fun times with Pikachu disobeying. And, uh, now I'm kind of understanding what that must have been like. Okay, let's confuse the Ghastly too then, as we go for a Super Potion for Saul. And I almost get you back up to full. Oh, this is an interesting fight. I really hope the next badge lets us get Pokemon of higher levels to obey. Because, like, I don't know. I think back in the first generation, maybe even other generations too, it makes it so that uh, every second badge, I think, increases the level you can have Pokemon obey at. So, like, I'm hoping that's not the case here. I need Sol to obey. Look, we gotta spend a turn healing now, though, this curse. Like, I could switch out, but I'm not using any other Pokemon as active team members, which is the problem. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna Sweet Kiss again. I don't think there's much they can do to hurt me. The curse will hurt, but then I can potion up afterwards, but Sol definitely needs a Super Potion this turn. Can we get these things to knock themselves out? Or at least, okay, if Sol will choose to attack. Even an icy wind should do the trick at this point. Come on, Gashley, hit yourself. Thank you. Not enough damage, though. You're not going to two-hit KO yourself, unfortunately for us. But if the Bronzor hits itself, it might drop. 
Bear with me here, folks. They, these guys better be guarding something amazing. There's like just a bunch of rocks at the end of this tunnel. Like, there's gotta be something they're hiding from us. Why would they be down here? Very, very mysterious. Very interesting, I guess. Uh, hmm. Pound might take the bronze ore down. I don't know about the attack stat, you know, being decent or not, but. Uh, what else do we have for healing items? Moo Moo Milk. That restores 100, doesn't it? I don't think Shelly has 100. Is there anything else that restores more? No, it doesn't look like it. We have to use another super potion next turn. That's alright, though. We can go buy more if we need to. I've still got 10 minutes left for this episode. We're still going. We got time for this. Come on! Now we can't switch out. Or at least we can't switch out salt. But does the bronze ore fall? Come on, Shelly. Pound that thing! Nice. Problem is, we can't pound the gas. Though. So, uh. I'm just gonna try for the confusion again, I guess. So, we should both be able to survive another turn. Eh. The nightshade is gonna hurt Sol, though. So, I'm gonna have Shelly, for Shelly's turn, use that super potion on Sol. And I'm gonna put it all on Sol's faint attack. We have to land that. We have to break through the disobedience. Come on, Sol, this is for your own good. Please attack. Oh boy, this is a fun one, isn't it? I've been saying, I've been having terrible, terrible, terrible luck with Pokemon games in general lately. Like, if you watch Pokemon Go, look at all the times that I tried to get Latios to no avail. Look at, if you were here for the live stream I did earlier yesterday, look at all the bad luck I had in TCG Online. All the, not getting any drawing card, like, you know, not drawing the cards that I needed, not getting the coin flip. Soul, come on! I want to put a counter up. How many turns does Soul disobey? This is not fun. I need to get a, a good Pokemon on my team. Soul, you're just not cutting it. You're trying to cut it, but you can't. It's a ghost type. <sighs> Alright. Let's calm down. Let's recollect ourselves. We we gotta do positive encouragement. Soul, come on, buddy. We've been through a lot, alright? You were knocked out once. In fact, I've got a care pack not care package. What am I saying? I got a prize package sending out to a viewer, unknown Spike, because you were knocked out. And we brought you back. So do not. Say, do not diminish the sacrifice I am making to keep you on this team. I'm about ready to let you faint, actually, Saul. You're not really worth all this. The problem is, I gotta keep you on the team. <sighs> but if I could drop you at any point, I probably would. At least until we get the badge for you to obey. And I'm sorry, folks, with what's going on here, I'm just out of commentary. There's really not much to say here. I guess I could say that for the first time in Pokemon Go, I ditched a uh, re uh, what was it? field request, field task, field research task, that's it, that I kind of wanted to use, I kind of wanted to go for, but uh, it was raining actually today, and I won't. There, finally! I wanted to... Or I, my mission was to catch three Fire-type Pokemon. Usually Fire-types are pretty rare around here to begin with. And the whole thing of, wa of the rain coming down, they were going to be even more rare. So it's like, I would not have been able to complete that by the end of the day. So I trashed it, got a different one. I'm not going to do that too much. Like, even if the, the reward is not that amazing, like just like 200 Stardust, I still want to complete it, just for the sake of completion, I guess. But... <coughs> Excuse me, in a case like that, when I can't really find the Pokemon I need, I'm going to have to prioritize other tasks. I've scoured every inch of this place, most of it while I was lost. Anyway, if there's one thing I can say, this place can't be called Ruins. I'm very picky, so I want to collect every Pokemon without anyone's help. I do have friends, though. No, seriously, I do! Do ya? Oh, there is a hidden item, look at that. Directly down. Wow, all that work for a tiny mushroom. Worth... What's up here? 
another rock smashable. There better be some amazing, amazing items in this place to make up for, well, the fact that Sol now disobeys once again. I think this is going to lead us to a dead end, but there might be an item to snag along the way. Actually, what is this? Hello, little girl. I'm Mira. I was catching Pokemon, and then I got lost. I'm so scared. Please, please take me to the exit. I decided to go with Mira. Okay. I'll keep your Pokemon healthy all the time. Now, that's what I was kind of hoping for, because I knew there was someone in here that joins up with you. Ooh, there's an item. A nugget! That's actually pretty good. Get some cash off of that one. What do you say? I like helpful Pokemon moves like Growl and Minimize. Those kinds of moves are my favorites. Are you a Clefairy user by any chance? We're about to find out. So we have wild double battles. Maybe be something we found a shiny. I'm pretty sure you can't catch Pokemon when you have a partner with you like this. Oh, she got Kadabra? I wonder if we could use her assistance to level up with this. Let's see what it does. Shockwave, that's not bad. I might actually make use of this. How much time we got? We got about four minutes left for this episode. Hmm. I might, yeah, I might explore this place a little bit more next episode too. If we can get some level ups off some of these wild Pokemon with uh, Mira and her Kadabra's help, then that'd be great. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. I'm gonna copycat. You Shockwave again, then I'll use it. This will be cool. Shockwave into the same Bronzor. Now, which one do we target? I love Copycat. Anything can happen. <coughs> I wonder if you have Copycat transform. Wouldn't that be wild, though? You're fighting a Ditto, it transforms, and you use Copycat and transform into the transform Pokemon it transformed into, which was yourself. You, you transform into yourself? Mind blown. Oh, come on. Alright, we got some experience off of this fight. We're just gonna run away here. Take my time off like this. Go! So Kadabra should wake up. Now that should... You should heal us, right? This cave is so easy to get confused. Do you know where we are? Yeah, we're in a cave. Clearly. So I can't remember if you get something special for her... For helping her like this. Maybe you do. But I'm not gonna take her out of the cave immediately just yet. There are probably plenty more items to be found. Where are we? Am I lost? Did I just get us lost? No, I didn't. This is the right way to go. What do we find? Two dude and a bronzor. Hmm. I wonder what the cadaver. Well, it probably has confusion. Let's see what happens here. Let's copycat. Copy whatever move it goes for. It goes for shockwave. All right. If I copycat shockwave and hit the geo dude, I'm just gonna run from this fight because that's gonna be just annoying and embarrassing. See it happen. Stop cat with shockwave. Alright. We'll stay in. Wonder if I should do some grinding in Or do I even have time to do the grind? Probably not. Oh, look how little we do. That's no good. Ah, yeah, I don't know if this would be a good place for. Like, this would be good for grinding, I guess, but. And this is gonna weaken electric moves. Nah, there's no point to battling here. We're just gonna walk away. There's gonna be items. We have a minute left. Let's find some items. Where are they all heading at? I know I'm not clicking on the item finder right now. I probably should, but maybe I'll come back in here afterwards if I do need to ever do some grinding and try to find all the items available. So I think we came around this way. I'm pretty sure we went all the way up at one point and then came down. Sometimes I have a pretty decent sense of direction. I remember there was one time... Uh, I was living in a part of town that I wasn't familiar with. It was a new place that I was living in. And my sister actually lived uh, several blocks away. And I was trying to find where she was at. Like, I knew the street, and I knew roughly how many streets up it was. Another battle? At least uh, Mira's with us, though. But time is up in just a few seconds, so I think what we're going to do... We're going to call it quits here after we get out of this battle. And uh, we'll pick the things. We'll, we'll pick a things. We'll pick them in things up in the next episode to deal with these two trainers down below. And with Kadabra helping us out, that shouldn't be so bad. Any hidden items? I don't see any around here, but I see one sitting right there. 
So, for the time being... Oh, I can't use my bike? I meant to hit start anyway. We're gonna save the game, and we'll come back in a few hours' time, hopefully, with another episode of Pokemon Pearl. You guys are welcome to come back and check that out and see what's going on here in Wayward Cave. But, that's gonna be a wrap for... Not for today, but for the moment today. Come on back later on for another episode of Pokemon Pearl number 24, if I'm doing the math right. And if you want to see some more videos that I have done, check the links during the outro. You can also check out the link in the description to the full playlist. If you enjoyed today's Pokemon Pearl episode, you can see some more. Plus, if you did enjoy it, there's always that like button down below. You can go ahead and... What is it? What are the, what's the term? You can smash that like button. You can pound that like button. You can just click it. Everything works. A click is fine just as well. And if you want to see some more videos from Professor Chaz, you can always subscribe to the channel as well at any point when you would like to do so. With that, it is now time to wrap up. Professor Chaz is signing off until later on today, saying thank you once again for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time.